Harry and Meg? Sure, knock yourself out. Thank you. How are they doing? How's Michael? Uh, he's upbeat, he's fighting. Radiation was supposed to be his best shot. Now we're all grappling with pinning our hopes on his second best shot, surgery. How are the kids handling it? Well, I think Harry's okay, I'm worried about May. She's got a better understanding of what's going on. That's because older siblings don't have the luxury of blissful ignorance. They understand the truth, even if they don't want to. Guessing it's not going too well with Albert. Maddie told you. Ooh, sorry, was she not supposed to? Who's Albert? He's my younger half-brother from Korea. He showed up on my doorstep. Not quite the birthday surprise I was expecting. That's awesome. I didn't even know you had a kid brother. Yeah, when do we get to meet him? Well, that doesn't really seem necessary. He's going to be leaving soon anyways. My dad insisted on it. Come on, you finally have a chance to get to know your brother. No, I don't know. It just feels weird to me. Sure, we share some of the same DNA, but he's still practically a stranger to me. I keep telling you, family comes to us in different ways, Jim. Lean in. Don't think you're going to send him home without meeting all of us. I know you. Uh, what is this? Talking points regarding Henrietta and Karen. Social services is vetting Karen and me to become foster parents. We listed each and every one of you as references, and so when they call, I need you all to sing our praises. You mean these specific 26 praises? <laughs> Karen made the list. She's very thorough. <laughs> Hen, we know you. We don't need some piece of paper to remind us of your many wonderful qualities. I appreciate that, Kat, but I'd rather you didn't improvise. The stakes are very high. I didn't know you played a musical instrument. Mm -hmm. Bassoon, first chair. And I was damn good. Memorize, people. What's a bassoon? 